Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. So for the full problem and solution transcript, you can check the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Okay, so the problem asks you to prove the vector triple product identity. And this is a really important, pretty big one if you're doing vector, vector calculus, playing with vectors at all. And so in other words, it's known as the back minus cap rule for pretty clear reasons. It's B times the dot product of A and C minus C dot product of A dot B. Uh, so that's a very easy way of memorizing it. It'll come in handy. Uh, so this is the clearest way I've proven it. There are other ways to do it. I think this is the clearest way. It also, it also takes a very long time, so I'll be uh, going over it with one component, and that applies to all the components. So let's get started. I'm going to get started with B cross C, because it's in the parentheses. Uh, so, cross product of vectors, it's a pretty simple uh, method of doing it. Uh, however, now we have A cross B cross C, and as you can expect, we have a lot of terms. Okay, and for the purpose of saving time, I'm going to show you how to kind of derive this stepwise for the i component first uh, by doing the cross product and then changing that up so that you can see very clearly that this is going to be the result after I, if I would do it with uh, j and k. Uh, in the solution transcript, we do do it all the way through with all the components, so if you're still confused, you can check that. Uh, but for now, there are quite a few terms here. And for now, I will write plus dot, dot, dot. And just know that uh, those would include the same procedure done with i for j and k. Uh, so I, uh, this is where the kind of cool trick comes in, that you need to solve the problem in this way. Uh, I'm going to add a term, ax plus bx, or ax, bx, cx. Then I'm going to subtract ax, bx, cx. And that's the equivalent to adding 0. And I'm going to add that in to this parentheses that has to do with the i component. And you're going to see why I do that in a second. Because if I factor that out and I pull out uh, bx and cx to factor it out, uh, you're going to see very clearly that this is where the dot product kind of comes in. a little tight, but uh, so you could probably see that this is the same thing as this with these terms, which is the same thing as it was before. I just added zero, so that was a completely legal move to do, and this is equal to a dot c. This is equal to a dot b. And we have a b of x term. We have a c of x term. So that is very cool, and if you do this, repeat this same procedure, adding uh, that kind of term, those kind of terms, to the other ones, j and k, you'll see very clearly that you get, after factoring and everything, so I'm going, I would pull that i bx out, there would be a j b y term, there would be a k b z term, there would be that same a dot c. In addition, we pull these out. And you would have this a dot b term. Well, surprisingly or not surprisingly, this is the vector b, this is the vector c, and now we have The back minus cab rule, all nice and proven. Very cool, very useful. Uh, so that's it for this week's problem of the week. Thank you so very much for watching. If you want to see more problems like that, you can click up here to see the playlists. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. Or if you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, click right there. 
Uh, and if you're on a mobile device, you should see an I in the top corner over there. Uh, if you click it, it should give you the same links. And again, thank you so very much for watching.